Hi there and welcome and thank you for joining us today. Today I'd like to talk to you about a wonderful website we came across. It's called WeddingBee.com and it's basically a whole community of brides-to-be and suppliers and what you do is you can post your questions, you can get tips, information, anything basically you need to plan your wedding. Now on there was a question posted by HoneyBear4 and she asked what what some ideas would be on a damask themed wedding. She also mentioned that she only has her bridesmaid dresses decided on, which is going to be black. So I thought of showing you today three different options of centerpieces, all with a different reason you choose it and in all different colors. So you can really go with any color seeing as you've only decided on your black and white so far. So what we've done is our first centerpiece over here is our 1920s kind of feathers, pearls, crystals themed centerpiece. And it's got your very traditional color and your typical colors of red, black and white. And we basically have two vases and we want to create three different heights. And the vases are filled with some crystals and pearls and they just mixed up there all together. We've done a little bit of white feathers at the top, uh, two black feathers on each, and then just a beautiful red rose with one little crystal pin on the inside. And then over here we have our beautiful crystals on our candelabra. And again, we've repeated the theme with our little bit of red, the black, a crystal and a feather. So this is what you want to use if you want to go for a little bit of a 1920s feel to your theme. And as you can see, of course, it works beautifully with a damask theme. Then in the middle, I have a more of a modern, plain, simple, clean cut kind of centerpiece. And we basically have two candle holders and we've got our vase. And this is a wonderful uh, centerpiece to use if you have a limited budget or you don't want to bring in too much flowers because you only have your three flowers um, in your centerpiece. Uh, you've got your little pebbles at the bottom and the reason for this is to keep your roses down and as you can see again works beautifully you can have your roses in pink yellow red any color you'd like it to be now if you want to create a little bit more of a flower effect and you have a bit of a bigger budget you can go for your traditional posy now the posy the one I did was with your daisies which isn't a very expensive flower so again if you have a budget you can use your daisies otherwise if you have a larger budget you can use beautiful roses we decided to go with a little bit with a purplish theme and we basically just have our vase with some pebbles in some water and our posy on the top with our candles on the side so there we have it our three options and we hope you found this helpful and we'd like to hear your questions and good luck to your future wedding planning.